All right, guys, this is my first time dropping the sloper and close, so I just thought I'd record it. Um, this might this video might be a little raw, like expect mistakes. <laughs> so, um, okay, so I think what I want to start doing is just actually freeze this piece. I don't need it. Well, let me do that. Da, 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 yeah, freeze, because I don't want him to like fall on the ground and stuff. And I think this guy's already been frozen, maybe. I don't know, I'll just make sure it's oh yeah, it's frozen too. Okay, cool. So we have this guy um in the book, your bell sleeve here it's supposed to be bigger than your armholes because you ease it into place the book talks more about that um i'm just curious where we're at right now if it's the same measurement or not um i'm wondering if i need this point i think i'm going to delete that guy okay i'll probably delete the one on the other side i kind of like keeping it here just to see the cross grain what that's going to look like once it's sewn up. Okay, so let's see what measurement I'm working with. I'm just kind of selecting it, holding shift. Okay, so it looks like my bell is 16.808. Oh, I'm going to write it down. 16.808. Oh, so if we were in the classroom doing this by hand, then ideally, our um, armhole opening from the front plus the back would be about 16 inches. Maybe maybe 15.8, but no less than 15.8, hopefully about 16. And I already forgot what ours is. So I'm gonna hold this down, hold shift and shift. Oh, it's way bigger, it's 17. So the sleeve is supposed to be bigger, not the armholes. So I have to go in and adjust it. Um, the book has some information about what to do. Looking at it, I can see my cap is really short. So I might just go in and pull it up. Now let's see, okay, what was, I'm gonna hold shift and get this measurement one more time. So my armhole was about 17.8. So it would be so great if my sleeve bell was like 18 inches to like definitely no more than 18.8. That's hard to use an inch. So let's see where we're at right now. Great, you know it's 18.06. I'm happy, <laughs> that's fine. These need to be the same length, yeah. So these are gonna get sewn together so I can get my sew tool maybe because they're the same length using the um, the segment sewing tool is super easy. Just make sure the little notches are both in the right spot. Like you wouldn't want one of the notches here or else it sews twisted. So that's good. Um, now to sew, we have to sew our underarm sleeve together. Oh, you might be able to do the notch thing because these are all the same length. Cool, yeah, the segment one. So I'm gonna click here and click here and I'll click here and I'll click here. Cool, so that sleeve's good. Now I just need to sew the sleeve for armhole and we're probably gonna have to use the free sewing one because remember our um, sleeve is a, uh, the bell is bigger than the front and the back. So here's my double notches. So I know this guy goes on the back um, sleeve. So uh, let's see here. I wonder if I should do my mirror sewing right now, I don't know. I just hope I'm positioning this the right way. Okay, I think he would get some here. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in. Oh, I want this internal line probably locked for right now because it's kind of in my way. Right click and lock that guy. Okay, <laughs> wish me luck. Um, here's my so I'm gonna click right here. We're gonna go up here and I wanna stop up here. Click, one click, panning. So I started it at, you know, the, the underarm. I'm gonna click right here. So as you can see, the little blue dot says this would be an equal measurement. But, wait, that means he's still shorter. Arg. Hmm, that's weird. That means that this guy's still bigger. Hmm, okay, Command Z. What if I did the front first? Click, click. Click. So yeah, see how this is way bigger here? 
that's good because you want to ease it. But I'm worried. So anyways, I'm going to stop. I'm going to hit Command Z. So I don't really have a problem with the front. I think he's ready to go. But my back curve is still smaller than my back armhole, which isn't good. It's actually supposed to be bigger. So I should play with the shape of the curve to get it bigger. So right now, the measurement that we're dealing with is 8.952. Okay, and we're sewing it to something that is 9.7. So we really need, this can say 9.7. I guess you could make it smaller, but we already did a fit in steps, so I don't really want to do that. Can I make you 9.715 or bigger? I think I can by playing with the curve. Um, so I'm gonna right click right here. Now, in Tukatech, I'll be honest, when you change the length, it'll let you change the curve. The, I haven't figured out that option for Chloe. I don't think you can. I think you just have to manually do it. So I guess I'll pick this curve and, or you know what, can I do, I like when it lets you like, click the little handlebars sometimes, and I don't even know how that happens. I'm not that good at Chloe yet, in case you haven't noticed. Um, okay. So what if I do that? That should make the curve bigger. And then what if I bring it in? Maybe I bring it in more this way? I don't know. Before I do that, let's see where I'm at. Okay, holding shift. No, we're trying to get 9.7, so I'm not there yet. Okay. No. What if I take this point, bring it in slightly? Um, oh, this is looks so funny to me. Not really helping you. Oh yeah, a little closer. We really need nine point seven. <laughs> okay. Um, da, 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 da. What's this gonna do? You know, I can only get to 9.52 because then otherwise it's just looking really weird. I don't know. I mean, maybe. Just don't know. So I'm giving up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this curve. So I'm going to bring this guy in. Okay. Now he's only 9.1 instead of 9.7. So that's less than 9.5. So now this curve is smaller. Okay. Let's let's see how this goes. So I'm gonna get my sewing tool. I'm doing the, um, the free sewing. And I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna stop right there. I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna stop at the shoulder. So I know that guy's a little bit bigger. Going to the front. Um, I think it goes here. I'm stopping there. I see the blue dot because that would be the same length, but we're easing it. So if you're sewing this in person, you have to know how to ease a longer piece of fabric to a shorter one, which is something we learn in beginning sewing. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this guy, I'm gonna right click, and we're gonna say to, oh, what is it called? Symmetric with sewing. Once we put it here, I don't even know. Okay. Shall we see if this sews up or not? So let's view our clothes. Let's look at our model. We probably don't need all of this stuff right now. Um, we haven't placed this, so let's get her um, points on. What are these things called? Her arrangement points. I'm gonna click this piece and you can hit number four, six. Oh yeah. And I'm gonna click right here. Oh no, I'm not. Let's try to get click. There it goes. I think that's good because it has the darts supposed to go in the back. And I just messed it up again. <laughs> okay, you got this, buddy. Click. You in? You click. Cool. That looks good. Um, okay, hitting two. Zooming in. 
and panning up, right clicking a little, and simulate. Yeah. And then we got here. This looks fine. I don't see anything weird. Yeah, I'm okay with it. Um, yeah, I mean, it's like kind of baggy. Is it like baggy here? Hmm. Is there too much fabric in the front? Is there not enough in the back? Anyways, it's not time to do my fitting, so I need to calm down. <laughs> I think this looks great, we're good, we're ready for the next step, which is to conduct a fitting. Um, but right now, I mean, overall, it's drafted, it looks good enough to me, so I'm a happy camper.